She's beautiful. Oh, what other song would we have? She <laughs> is a fifth generation chicken keeper, and her new book, Let's Hatch Chicks, is about the joys and responsibilities of hatching baby chicks. Here with advice on raising happy, healthy backyard chickens, please welcome Lisa Steele. Yes, Thank you for having me. And Veruca. And Veruca. Veruca. Can I yep. touch Veruca? Sure. Oh, oh she adorable. Very nice. So, Lisa, this is your fourth book about chickens. How is this one different than your others? This is a kid's book. Oh. My first ooh. three books were adult books, educational, and this is a kid's book. I have a chicken named Violet who couldn't come today, but Veruca's her body double. Um, oh, but she, nice. she stars in the book. So Don't they, let that get to you. It's yeah. They love you just the same. She's, she, you know, she's fine. <laughs> so, they took photographs of mine and, and turned them into illustrations for the kid's Aww. book, which is really fun. Okay. Oh, so sweet. Um, so, you know, raising chickens. You have, we have lots of chickens here with us today. Chickens um, everywhere. Yeah, it's becoming more popular, right, for people to have their own chickens. Uh, what are the advantages? Why are people doing this? For the fresh eggs. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, you know, you cannot beat an egg that you go out to your backyard, get it from your coop. Your grocery store eggs, they're six weeks, eight weeks longer. It really longer. is different. If I, if I, like, cooked you an egg that was, like, grocery store and fresh, you would to be able to taste the difference. You could blind test me, yes. Yeah. 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 I mean, you can just crack an egg open, and the eggs from our chickens, they're eating grass and bugs, and the yolks are nice and orange, and the whites are nice and thick, and it just makes a huge difference. Okay, so for people who are thinking about chickens, they've never had chickens, what are the things that they should think about before getting started? Definitely check the laws in your town and municipality. Right. You know, just because you live in the city limits doesn't mean you can't have chickens. No, I have them in my areas. area. I do. Yeah. You know? And if you live in the country, sometimes there are regulations. So check how many you can have if you need a permit for your coop, a permit for the chickens. Um, and then once you know that, figure out how many you're going to have. Yeah. Well, that's how many important. should you start with? I was, yeah, like <laughs> just like, one or no, how many eggs you want? Chickens get lonely. Aww. They're they're, oh, okay. you know, they're flock animals. So three, five, six is like a but good starting point. Then you also have to think about how many eggs do you really want, right? Because each... Because didn't you say you had a lot of chickens and you Yeah, didn't know to you start giving eggs? like drowning in eggs and eat that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, please, take some eggs, <laughs> everybody, everybody. everybody. Everyone gets <laughs> eggs for Christmas. <laughs> everybody. <laughs> UPS man drives up with a package, I'm like, here, you, egg, you know, um, yeah. So a chicken lays an egg almost once a day. Oh, right. So yes. figure how many eggs your family lay, uh, eats, and then you're going to eat way more when you have chickens because exactly. they're just so good, and you can you can fit them into so many meals. Ooh, uh, I well, have a question for you. If you don't, yeah, no, go ahead, no, I know that the droppings from the chickens are fantastic, and I buy it at the garden center. So if you have a chicken at home, do you can you use it fresh like that, or do you have to cure it? You have wait? to let it age. How long? So, uh, oh. You know, I do it, I clean my coop out and I compost it all summer and fall mm -hmm. and then I'll put it in the garden over the winter, right. let it age and then spring my garden. That's great. So, you know, right. six months Isn't or so. That great? Yeah. 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 Things are fantastic. Yeah. I heard a lot. You should try those. Really fantastic. Fertilizer. Yeah. Things we didn't know about Shirley. But, uh, but I do have a Question. Speaking of, like I mentioned, there are some people who have chickens in my neighborhood, mm -hmm. and I live in the city. There have been some issues, though, about people who have roosters. Mm. Do you have any thoughts on whether you should have a rooster? Because so of you course, were woken up very early. I wasn't, but it's <laughs> been an issue in the area. And of course, you don't need to have a rooster if you're just collecting to eggs. To get the eggs, right? And, and roosters don't just crow in the morning; they crow all day long. Yeah. Wow. So I mean, yes, we live out in the country, do. and I'm not a fan of roosters. Like, I don't want to hear my own rooster crowing at five <laughs> yeah. in the morning. Right. We have nothing against roosters. Roosters. My neighbors. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of them. You don't need them to get eggs. Yeah. So well, they probably uh, people who do sort of bring roosters in when they have neighbors right next door. They probably give sort of like chicken raisers or farmers. I don't know what you would call um, people who have chickens, but kind of a bad name because they, you know, set a bad example. Exactly. And nothing is worse than being irresponsible, either with roosters or letting your chickens roam the neighborhood and you know get in your neighbors' gardens and stuff. So a, a coop with a nice large pen is really the most responsible, and it's safer for the chickens. Okay. I mean, you have coyotes out here. You have Hot. Yes, we do. So you want to keep them safe from, from that. How much space do you actually need? No, no, no. So in your coop, three to five square feet. So if you have a garden shed or a kid's playhouse that they're not using anymore, you can turn it into a really nice coop inexpensively. You don't need, you don't need much, much space. space. No, no. No. I might have to You might have to do this. All right. In my house. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Quick question. And don't take this offensively. <laughs> but the one with the hair 
I love those kinds. What is that called? Yeah. And is there a better breed to start with if you're just starting the chicken world? So those are Polish. There's there's some breeds that have the crazy headdresses yeah, this and that. Yeah, got a little attitude. I think. Yeah. I think she's all that and more. They're, they're a little nuts. Themselves. They're kind of kind of divas. They don't lay as well. Uh, um, I'm a big fan of Labbing Door Orpingtons, Buff Orpingtons for kids. Wow. They're, they're super docile and gentle and family friendly and kid friendly and you know they're just good layers. The, the fancy breeds are really cute, <laughs> but, but they're a little temperamental. They're a little aggressive. Uh, I can tell that one's got it out. Oh, yeah. 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 Just the way she's strutting around, right? So funny. <laughs> Yeah. So, she's like, I look good. All these look like, yeah. All these look like they're adult chickens. Should you start with an adult chicken, or would you recommend a baby chick? No, baby chicks. Oh. I mean, just babies. It's like puppies. You know, you just yeah. want to get a baby. Then with the chickens, you know what they're eating. You know they're healthy. You know from day one. So how old are they? Like, uh, day old. A day old. The feed day store. Old. Baby. Wow. The feed store sells them day old. They hatch. Wow. They put them in a box. They ship them to the feed store, and you can get them the next day. Wow. Oh so God. from from how old from you get it at a day old to when they start laying eggs? About 18, 20 weeks old, so like five months. Okay. And how You'll start to live? see eggs. Um, they can live for like a dozen years. A dozen years? Wow. I mean, realistically, we'll have to talk about most that. don't. I like Because I know we're on the dozen. Christmas wish instead list this year now. But instead of 12 years, she says a dozen. Oh, everyone can like come over and play a month. about a dozen years. <laughs> now, you mentioned an interesting word there healthy eating. I know that you mentioned on your YouTube channel and your blog that you're raising your, your chickens uh, in a healthy manner. What, is it, what does that mean? So, we're eating their eggs. And part of the reason we have chickens is for healthy food, like you garden and you want to know what's going into your vegetables. So. I don't want chemicals, antibiotics, you know, mm -hmm. I don't want any of that. So we feed them a lot of herbs. Mm -hmm. They love fresh herbs. I try to build their immune systems. I give them apple cider vinegar, like your grandmother oh, used to drink. Oh, and there's the video there. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. And our ducks. Oh, ducks too. We have ducks too, yeah. Um, yeah, so I think the more variety in their diet, give them your garden scraps, your table scraps, they have a nice healthy diet, and they stay healthy without chemicals and antibiotics. So these are happy chickens. They these are happy chickens. chickens. Are living the life. They yeah. are. Yeah. They are. Yeah. Little Veronica, is that No, Veruca. Oh, Veruca. Veruca. I'm sorry, Veruca. Veruca. Yeah, she's tall. looking at you sideways. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's like, get Ellie, it right, Ellie. Right. She's like, I will not lay you a golden egg. Yeah. Lisa, thank you so much for joining us. This thank is great you. information. So Bella, we'll talk about this later. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's hatch chicks will be available in January. And for more information, go to FreshEggsDaily.com and stick around because SEAL Team actor A.J. Buckley is sharing how he changed his lifestyle and landed the role of his dreams. Can't wait for that. Then we're making a delicious pumpkin Alfredo pasta with fitness chef Ashley Pettit. Hey, Ashley. How can you resist pumpkin in the fall? Well, you don't have to with this healthy pumpkin Alfredo recipe I'm about to show you. Gosh, they look so good. <laughs> Plus, soap queen Anne-Marie Fayola is cleaning up our Halloween DIY candy corn soaps. But next, Kim is taking the phrase beauty sleep quite literally, <laughs> right Kim? That's right, Allie. When we come back, I'm going to show you how you can literally transform overnight with these great products.